help you? Mrs. Peterson? Yes? My name is David. Mrs. Peterson, I, uh, I knew your son, Caleb. I was with him when he died. That's me. You know Caleb? Yes, ma'am. We're pretty close. <laughs> yes, ma'am. He wanted me to tell you that he loved you. Thanks. He asked me to check on y'all. And so, we're gonna be good friends. fight with some guys at school. I'll teach him some self-defense when he's feeling up to it. Well, what are you gonna do? Nothing bad. <laughs> For the damages. Never let anyone pick on you. Here. You can keep it. Miss Peterson, are you sure you're comfortable with me staying here? I think it could be a good thing for us. You know, I promised Caleb I would do anything I could to help your family. But I'm afraid I haven't been fully honest with you. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been here. Really, Mrs. Peterson, it's no problem. I think that if Dan Stevens looked like that on Downton Abbey, it wouldn't have taken him so long to get Mary Crawley to go out with him. Wow, talk about a makeover. Now usually I frown about talking about the attractive attractiveness of somebody in a trailer review. I mean, we're supposed to rise above that, and I don't often like it when we focus on it for female characters, but I have to say, that's one of the main things this movie has going for it. And I think you're going to see a surprising amount of women come out to see this movie. And I think that that's how you might see Dan Stevens utilized in the future. And he seems to be really embracing that. There's other actors such as Ryan Gosling who run away from it. Tom Hardy who say, whoa, I'm not attractive. You've never seen my face. Forget I was here. Just listen to my voice. Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender has literally put a paper mache mask over his entire head to, he can't hide his arms though, uh, to try and, you know, get past his looks. And Johnny Depp, of course, famously for decades tried to make people forget that he was good looking. And I think all of those actors succeeded on some level and I applaud them for it and they should be seen as more than their looks. But Dan Stevens doesn't feel it's beneath him to capitalize on that. I think he's just desperate to get that first step, solid step, into the movie business because of course he's coming from television and BBC television. Uh, and he of course is a knight of the museum but I think this could be his breakout role. And I think that's because you know he's clearly playing up his looks. You know it's he's the mimbo. That's the male version of the bimbo. And there is an audience for the mimbo. Uh, and I think there's an audience for this film. I also really impressed with the movie because it seems to have a very good story. You know, Your Next was just a straight up horror film. I was not a big fan of that movie. Uh, I felt that it was, you know, typically someone's first horror film. I thought it had a lot of the problems of a student film, uh, from casting to story, etc. And I, I just felt it wasn't particularly well realized. It had a little bit of a twist to it, which I know a lot of fans of the genre really enjoyed. So it got some heat. It got released. And you have to have respect for any film made at that level that gets a theatrical release. But for this follow-up film, I think that the director here, uh, writer-director, I believe Adam Wingard, is doing a very nice job. And while I'm sure there are horror elements here and scary elements, uh, there's a story, there's something to enjoy, which I think is important to bring in that female audience that are gonna wanna come to see Hot Dan Stevens. Uh, Cause you know, I think uh, that demographic in particular, especially a mainstream demographic, if you're not just going for genre fans, enjoys more of a story, uh, some emotional weight to it. And I think that this film seems to have that. I really like uh, what I'm seeing in terms of not just what I'm literally seeing, but I like the development of the story as well. Uh, and I'm curious as to what, I think we all can kind of guess a little bit what the mystery is, so it's really up to Wingard here to still manage to surprise us. And if he can surprise us, if there's something that we can't guess, uh, you know, from having seen so many films like this or similar films, then he'll really potentially have a hit on his hands. Very good cinematography, very professionally acted across the board, and also Dan Stevens 
beyond how he looks, he's pretty handy with that uh, butterfly knife. I was really impressed with that as well. Uh, and some of the action sequences that looked from what he could do in that bar fight also looked very good. So I'm just, I think all around, it looks like this movie is well made, well crafted, taking its time in multiple regards. So I'm curious as to what you think. Uh, for those of you who are into Dan Stevens, is that enough for you to want to see this movie? Uh, also, what do you think of the departure of this writer-director from a, a straight-up horror film to something that's a little less genre-y and maybe perhaps more for the mainstream? Do you think that it's a good idea or do you think he's just watering down what first put him on the Hollywood map, on your map? Uh, and also, do you think this movie will surprise us, or do you think that we're just, uh, it's going to just be the same old, same old? Oh, by the way, I want to also point out that the actress who plays, like, the teenage girl in the house, or the, you know, the younger girl, the blonde, she was in, um, a very good film. Uh, I forget the name of it off the top of my head. It was, a. uh, uh um, a Zac Efron, Dennis Quaid movie that came out uh, maybe last year or the year before. Uh, very good movie. It was about farming. Uh, and she was in the film, and she was particularly good. She was a standout talent. Uh, it was a good film overall. I actually recommend that you check it out. Uh, but I'm glad to see that she's getting more work, and she's, she uh, seems, I, I'm sure she'll do a good job here. She really just used for eye candy in this trailer as well. Although, how can I complain, right? Although, Dan Stevens' is eye candy here that has stuff to say, stuff to do. He has, you know, he's well, he's, uh, he's, he's eye candy with depth. Uh, and so hopefully her character will be as well in the actual film. But she's a good actress, so I'm just glad she's working, period. All right, so thank you so much for tuning in to my review. Please write down your own thoughts uh, below, and you can check out some more episodes right now.